If there was one watch brand I always found to make quality and stylish timepieces, but always had one design flaw that I could never get past, it was Christopher Ward. Prior to 2022, all their watches had the full Christopher Ward name on the dial. This was a hard pass for me. Nothing against the name, but having the first and last name was a bit too much for me. With their newly designed logo, the future is bright for CW. It's easy to produce a watch that takes all the boxes for in-demand specs. Wearable sizing, sapphire crystal, reliable movement, high water resistance, and tool-free micro adjustments on the clasp. What's harder to pull off is a watch that takes all those boxes, while at the same time offering a cohesive, thoughtful design combined with excellent fit and finish. In releasing the C63C Lander GMT, Christopher Ward has done just that with an attractive, versatile, and easy-wearing GMT watch. Better yet, they have done so with an extremely attractive price point. The Sea Lantern GMT has a Rolex Explorer 2 vibe, but with their own spin on the classic. The 24-hour fixed stainless steel bezel and orange GMT hands clearly evoke the now classic Explorer watch. The Sea Lantern GMT has more than enough design elements to set it apart from the crowd. Each has its own unique look and feel, but the black dial is arguably the most versatile of the bunch. Each colorway comes with applied baton markers filled with X1 Superluminova. Similarly, the hour, minute, and tip of the GMT hands are all luminous. The handset Christopher Ward chose for the Sealander GMT is one that can be found across the C63 range and is made up of a simple baton minute hands, a broad arrow hour hands, and an orange tip seconds hands with the trident counterweight. Since this is a GMT model, you also get an orange tip 24 hour hands. The handset complements the dial. Although the hour hand and trident won't be for everyone, there are elements that tend to be exaggerated in photos, but are hardly noticeable on the wrist. The use of orange as an accent color is prominent, but not overdone. The 24 hour hand is the major orange element, but that plays nicely off the tip of the seconds hands, a bit of text on the dial, and small markers along the minute track. Christopher Ward keeps the branding to a minimum, only displaying the brand name at 12 o'clock and some basic info above the color match date at 6 o'clock. If you follow Christopher Ward, you'll know that their branding has been something of a journey. That said, you will find the twin flag logo on the rotor, crown, and bracelet clasp. On the wrist, it's clear that Christopher Ward has a nice wearing experience. The dimensions of each version are 36 mm diameter versus 39 mm, 43 mm lug to lug versus 45.8 mm, and 11.15 millimeters in thickness versus 11.85 millimeters. These dimensions are likely to fit comfortably on a wide range of wrists and will be welcome to anyone looking for a GMT watch with more modest dimensions, whether for all day wear and comfort or simply for the aesthetics of a modestly proportioned watch. Besides being well executed for comfort, the case is very well finished for the price point. With clean brushing, sharp chamfers, and just enough high polish elements to dress up nicely, the Sea Lantern GMT sports 150 meters of water resistance and is finished off with an exhibition case back. While the elaborate grade Salita movement isn't decorated, Christopher Ward does add a custom engraved rotor. The Sea Lantern GMT is available with several strap and bracelet options, all equipped with a tool free quick release. Given that the Sea Lantern GMT is billed as a travel adventure watch, being able to take a single watch on a trip and easily swap between straps without bringing a spring bar tool is a welcome feature. The three link bracelet is an excellent aesthetic match and more importantly wears quite comfortably. The center links are broad and the watch offers nice articulation. The bracelet uses a pin and collar system to secure the links and comes with two half links, allowing you to easily center the clasp. The Sealander GMT uses a milled push button clasp with an on the fly micro adjustment. The clasp is excellent, and once you consider the price point, it's even more impressive. Powering the Christopher Ward C63 C Lander GMT is the Salita SW332, a doppelganger of the ETA2893. This movement sports 25 joules and has an extended power reserve of 56 hours. This is an office GMT movement rather than a true GMT, where the GMT hand is controlled by the hour hands, meaning when you land in a new city and move the hour hand forward, the GMT hand advances right along with the hour hand. All in all, this GMT is a comfortable, attractive, and well-executed watch.